Okay, today I'm going to show submitting documents to an auto store process through Quick Capture Pro. It's typically our desktop scanning application. Uh, I don't have a scanner hooked up to my station, however, so I'm going to be just simulating scanning today. So in order to do that, I just have to go ahead and import some documents here. So I'm going to go ahead and do File Open and pull in a batch of 10-page uh, TIFF files. And you can see those documents are brought in and they're just kind of in, a, um, in an unorganized group here of 10 documents. So since there are barcodes on each document, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate um, these documents based on the barcode. So anytime I find a single barcode on a document, it's actually going to do a separation. And I just click on this break on barcode button up here to do that. And you'll see immediately the documents are split out. So now I have 10 separate documents. Okay, so in order to submit documents, I have to actually bring up the Auto Capture forum, and you see right here is our, our link into Auto Capture. So the, uh, the top level function is called Statements Demo. We're going to go ahead and do Send to HQ. So I double click on this, it brings up my form. So in order to submit documents here, all I need to do is highlight my, uh, my field. In this case, the barcode value is actually being pulled, um, pulled across, and that is the statement ID. So I'm going to go ahead and cl single click in there, pulls the value across. Uh, click on my get client name button and you'll see we did a quick database lookup to get the uh, the client name. Um, this data can be anything. We're just bouncing this off a quick little access database but uh, using ODBC or any other method, uh, even a web service, this would be very straightforward for us to do. So the last piece here is my document type. Go ahead and uh, pick this from a drop down box. So I have all my data needed to submit the document at this point. I just click on the big green button here that says uh, send to auto capture and my document is sent on its way. Now notice I get a little blue checkbox down here at the bottom that, uh, that gives me a visual cue that my document has been, has been submitted. So, <clears throat> but the data is still here, and this is here for an important reason. If I'm scanning multiple documents and only one value is changing, so for in this instance, if only document type is changing, I can simply change that one piece and then click on the next, uh, the, the green button again, and I've submitted another document very, very quickly. Okay, so it allows me to rapidly submit documents that are of the same transaction, but possibly have one field or two fields that are, um, that are different. So I can go in and, and change those values, but I can keep them all the same if I would like to. So in this case where I want, actually want to clear the document, um, just for clarification, I'm going to go ahead and double click on, on my uh, auto capture button, uh, do that twice, and it'll clear the form. So you can see I have my two submitted documents I'm seeing here. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, just run through a couple of these, probably five or six of these, just to get the idea through. So I'll go ahead and click here, do my client name, grab my statement, and submit. Okay, now I'll go ahead and clear that, and the same process. So in three clicks, I'm actually indexing this document fourth click sends it actually on, off to the process. We've got five documents sitting in there now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what these, uh, what we're pulling off of these documents. So I'm just dumping these to a file folder. So you can see what we're actually doing is I'm creating a, uh, a high-level folder for each uh, customer name, essentially a client name. And then under that, we're creating another directory based on the types of documents. So you can see when I first did my first document there, I actually chose two separate document types. So we're creating a folder for each one of those, and then we're renaming the document based on the data that was that was indexed, that was input. Okay. So and these values can be passed on to any ECM system. So any backend system that accepts external data, we can do the exact same thing with. We can push this data dynamically to uh, to anywhere. Great, and that's just a quick demo. If you have any questions, um, let us know at uh, nsiautostore.com. Thank you very much.